I didn't know what to do, I didn't know what to grab. The only thing I thought to bring was a pile of blankets because I thought we'd be spending the night in the car. The wind was just churning, churning chaos. La lumbrera estaba a una calle nada más, un bloque. Todos nos asustamos. It just created an inferno in this valley that took off. And we started realizing, wow, this is much bigger than we had thought. By about 10 in the morning, we had heard that the health center here had been badly burned. We have a play structure out in the front of the health center. There was a tube slide that started to catch on fire and we believe acted like a blowtorch, shooting flames up the side of the building, catching the roof on fire. The Vista campus was our largest health center. This facility served half of our patients. Our patients are the people in this county who are laborers, who work in the service industry. They're living from paycheck to paycheck. One paycheck gone could mean homelessness for the majority of our patients. How are you feeling now? Do you feel like your breathing is I, still I different? I'm weak and all this uh, smoke wouldn't help. 180 employees worked here to take care of all of those patients. And now that it's gone, uh, it's a tremendous loss to this community. We have to rebuild. We have to come back and be here for them. The morning of this event, I was in my car, driving I didn't know where, and I got a text message. And it was from Dr. Patricia Kulabiak. And it said, what are we doing? How, how, let me know what needs to happen. She didn't know at that time that her house had burnt down. If Santa Rosa is going up in flames, there's going to be a lot of people with problems that are going to need help. And so I started thinking right away, I needed to go back. We have uh, 24,000 patients who rely on this as their medical home where they get their primary care. And we're here for them. That's our mission. And we'll do that no matter what. Our patients come in with different types of experiences and traumas and we try to relate, have empathy, and understand what they're feeling. And what's what people need right now is to know that they're not alone, that there's support, that we're going to be here for them no matter what. The society is not set up to benefit them. So we try and set this place up to make up for some of those disparities that exist out in the community. As a patient, I respect her very much and one of the best doctors. Thank you, Jose. It's been a hard couple months. Gracias, gracias, doctora. <laughs> What's important is making sure that the folks who are really struggling, the same people who were really struggling before the fire happened, are being cared for and held and nurtured. I'll hug you all day. <laughs> I think we're very early on in this recovery phase. I think we still have a couple of years in this rebuild, not only physically, but rebuilding of ourselves as we move forward. Now the hard work starts, but the attention is going away. It's actually right now that people need that support to take on the marathon of recovery, because it's a marathon. It really is.